welcome to another edition of uh, cooking, quarantine cooking demos here at Now You're Cooking. I'm Heather, and today we're going to be talking about popsicles. Uh, it's really hot this week in Maine. If it's over 70 degrees, we think it's hot in Maine, so this is sort of aggressive for us. But I love hot weather, and I love eating popsicles, so that's why I'm here today. We're going to be making two popsicles. Um, blueberry black bear popsicles is what I'm calling the first one, blueberries, in season. And then the other one is refreshing raspberry popsicles. Uh, we'll post the recipe for this online after, so don't worry about writing everything down. It'll be available for you on our website, and I'll post it after this. And we will record if we can't make it last. Starting off, we're going to heat up some water. We're going to start with the raspberry. Let um, The honey has to heat up with the water, and then we'll let it cool down. So we'll start that. I'll make the blueberry ones in between, and then we'll come back and finish up the raspberry. Okay, so I'm putting in one cup of water, my saucepan, and then a third of a cup of honey. And a third of a cup seems like a lot, and you can definitely do less, but raspberries are super tart. And so I found that when I tried to skimp on the honey, it was too much <laughs> tartness for me personally, but you might have a different palate. And you could try maple syrup um, or sugar, whatever you have is great too. I thought about, um, instead of doing this, if you didn't even want to turn on your stove because it's too hot, maybe yeah. using orange juice, and, orange juice instead. I would leave out the mint, which I'm going to put in these ones, but I would leave out the mint if you do that, but this, that might be a good option for you. So we'll just let that warm up and just get dissolved. So that's starting the raspberry ones. And now we're going to start the blueberry. So right here I have a cup of blueberries. I've heard that at the Bath National Market right now they have green blueberries. So I'm going to go down and get some of those. These are just, who knows where they are from, but they look good. A um, uh, quarter of a cup of milk. Tablespoon of maple syrup, the good stuff, the real stuff. And then we just put it in our food processor here. You have to not be nervous about putting the top on. It's actually really easy. And then I'm just going to fold it. You could make it super smooth, or you could leave it chunky, whatever your preference. That's the great thing about popsicles. You can put anything in them, pretty much, as long as it freezes. So if you make a smoothie every day in the morning and you find that you have some leftover, you could just pour the rest in the popsicle mold and then have dessert from the oven. Okay, that looks good to me. And so I'm going to get this OXO silicone measuring cup. And I love this because you can squeeze it when you pour. I think the hardest thing about popsicles, our done. <laughs> the hardest thing about popsicles is pouring them into the molds because that would just spill everywhere. So this really helps. So take this off. I've tried to make these with yogurt before, and they taste great, especially like a vanilla. Um, but they get a little bit. Sometimes they're a little too thick, so that's why I use them. And then I like to add. This is two tablespoons of mini chocolate chips. I like the mini ones because they're mini, and you can then you can justify eating these for breakfast because the chocolate isn't too big. But if you have big chunks, that's great too. I just like the mini ones because my popsicle molds are kind of small, so I feel like they get more evenly distributed. So these are rocket pops, and if you wanted to get really fancy, you could layer them. Make like the, um, I think there's a picture on there, but do some layering. But I'm going to do straight up blueberry in this right now. But if I was going to layer it, I would probably put in some of this and then maybe some vanilla yogurt and then um, put the blueberry back on top. So that would be something that you could do. So here we go. Oh, so far, so good. Good for it. <laughs> and then these, I love these popsicle molds. So then these just snap into place. And then this whole tray goes into the freezer. Or if you just had your 
for example, a leftover smoothie, you could just take one of these, take it off, put the top on, and then put it in the freezer. Or you could do a full six, because I have a lot of things in my freezer, and sometimes I don't even have room for something this big. So it's nice that you have the option for both. And if you don't have a fancy popsicle mold, you could also use something like this, or a Dixie cup, or anything really. And then, so I'd pour in your um, batter, I guess, and put it in the freezer, maybe an hour, check on it, because if you put the stick in right away, it'll fall over, but once it's firmed up a little bit, then you can add the stick. And so we have these, they're just sticks, so they'd be great for something like that. But also, we have popsicle sticks. How convenient here at the store. So we also have smaller molds too. There are these mini pops that are great if you have little kids. You could even puree up. I know this is maybe a little bit crazy, but something not sweet. Maybe like a butternut squash or something. Just because they're teething or something. So, I don't know. It's up to you to try. Okay, moving on. I'm not even going to rinse out my bowl because I'm a mess <laughs> and I don't like doing dishes, so <laughs> maybe there'll be a little bit of blueberry in our raspberry popsicles. So, this is a cup of raspberries going on in, and then a cup of lemon juice, and I used the reamer just to ream it out, and then I'm going to puree this right up. Same deal. You could use a blender too if you don't have a food processor. I like the little bit of blueberry because it makes it a little purple, a little darker red. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so a lot of people don't like raspberry seeds, and, and that's why they don't like raspberries. So you could, if you don't mind the seeds, go for it, just put it right in. But what I'm going to do, and we'll see if I can do this without spilling everywhere, is put it through a strainer. So that's how you get all the seeds out. Okay. And then you just kind of, I use this, this spatula I use for everything. We've talked about a lot of these cooking demos, but they're one of our favorite tools because it has this kind of scoop on one side and then a spreader on the other. So I can just go like this, do the strainer. And maybe I should have maybe do a process that a bit more. Sometimes these things happen. So I'm gonna put the bowl back on. And go once enough. And that's okay. And we'll the same thing. my honey and water mixture from earlier. So. I'm gonna get this really close up this time. I like this food processor a lot because the blade doesn't fall out when you turn it sideways. You can see all the, I love this strainer too because it's a little bit bigger. So if you have quinoa um, that you need to rinse or rice, this is great for that. And I've done a lot of popsicles recently. So this is my Okay, There are a surprising amount of seeds in this place. It's crazy. And then, totally optional, but I cut up some mint from the garden, um, really small pieces. You could put it in the food processor if you wanted, um, but I like to have little chunks. And then I, I love these, the these Duralex containers. They're French. They have a glass bottom and a plastic top so they can go in the dishwasher. 
fold the teeth. And then I put a wet paper towel in the bottom just to keep this uh, fresh today. And I could just take it out of the fridge and just add mint to whatever I feel like. Um, I tried another batch of these popsicles with the water, putting a green tea bag in the water when I heated up, heated it up to the honey. I left the tea bag in a little bit too long and they were a little bit strong, but I'm definitely going to try it again because they were really good and I love green tea flavor. And then if you eat them for breakfast, you also get your caffeine. So if you left the seeds in, the raspberry, see how thin the batter is on this one? Is batter the right word? I don't know. The juice is um, pretty thin on this because we uh, took out the seeds. So I just put some of these on the bottom and you could put some in the tip before you put the batter in and then they would, uh, there'd be more mints in there. So those are my popsicles that I made so far. And then I have a couple over here that were in the freezer today, and I just had them out while we've been doing this. <laughs> <laughs> they were out a little bit too long, clearly. <laughs> but <laughs> ah, no, no problem. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the possible. We'll be safe for a day.